Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be continuing working with our word families for foundations. So what I need you to do is get out your dry erase board and a dry erase marker. So today our word family is going to be the egg word family. Let's tap that out together. Egg. 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 Ooh, let's see if we can figure out what letters we need to be a part of our egg word family. Eh, eh, eh. What letter says eh? Very good. E, ed, eh. Make sure your E is lowercase. We want to leave some room in the front so we can put a beginning sound in to make different words. So we have eh, g, g, g. G game g. Very good. Make sure your G touches the worm line. That's a tricky one. So we have the egg word family. So we're going to put different sounds in here today, different letters, and we're going to see if we, we can make either a real word or a nonsense word. All right. So the first letter I want us to put in is the letter B. B. Go ahead and write your B on your board. All right, we're gonna tap it. So get your hand out, ready to tap. B, egg, b, egg, b, egg, beg. Can you use the word beg in a sentence? I, my dog can beg for a treat, beg. Beg is when you keep asking someone something or like a dog can beg for food. They'll sit right by you and they'll just look at you while you're eating. Beg. So that is a real word, okay? Now we're gonna erase B and now we're gonna put in the letter H. <sighs> Let's put in an H. We have H in. Let's tap our word. <sighs> Egg. Egg, egg, heg. Can you use the word heg in a sentence? That's tricky. We can't use the word heg in a sentence. It doesn't exist. So that would be a nonsense word. It's still part of the egg family, but it is not a real word. Okay, so on, up here in the corner, I'm going to write our words we've made. Beg and heg. It still rhymes, it's just not a word that we use in English. Heg. All right, I'm gonna erase H. You go ahead and do the same. And the next letter we're gonna put there is the letter L. L lamp O. All right, let's tap our word and see what we have. O egg. O egg. O egg. Leg, leg. Can you use the word leg in a sentence? Leg. I hurt my leg. Everyone has a leg. Yep. So it's part of our body. A leg. So that is a real word. We'll add that up here. Leg. Good job. We're going to take off the L. And the next word we're going to put, or the, I'm sorry, the next letter we're going to put in is mm, M. Let's tap that word that we made. Mm, egg. Mm, egg. Mm, egg. Meg. Meg. Now this is a tricky one. Meg is can actually be a person's name. Okay? So usually somebody that is named Megan they can sometimes go by Meg. So that could be somebody's name. So that is a real word, okay? We, you could use it in a sentence if that was someone's name. So you could say, is Meg here today? Meg. So that is a real word. Okay, we're gonna erase M. And the next letter we're gonna put in front is R. 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 All right, let's tap it. Er, egg. Er, egg. Er, egg. Reg, reg. 
Can you use the word reg in a sentence? That, we can't use that in a sentence. Reg is not a real word. It's a nonsense word. Does it still fit in our egg word family? Yeah, it still rhymes with beg, heg, leg, meg, and reg. They're all rhyme. They're all part of the egg family. All right, we're going to do one more. We're going to put in the sound pa, pa, pa. P, pan, pa. And make sure, because we're doing lowercase, it should touch the worm line. Pa, pa, pa. Egg. Pa, egg. Pa, egg. Peg. Peg. Can you use the word peg in a sentence? I moved my peg around the game board. So a peg could be your little piece that you use to play a game like Candyland or Treble. Peg could also be someone's name. Someone named Peggy might go by Peg. Peg. Is Peg at school today? So that could be a real word. That is a real word. Peg. It could be someone's name. So if we can read beg, we can read heg. If we can read leg, we can read meg. If we can read reg, we can read, read peg. Good job, boys and girls. We will have a egg word family for you guys to watch today. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.